boxing truth here. This is just an aftermath of the wild and Paveca situation that's getting uglier by the day. There's a, a tug of war between the parties, the principles involved, on what's going to take place now that Pavek and tested positive for very small trace amounts of the, of the banned substance that were recently put on the banned substance list on January 1st of this year. Now, there's a lot to take into consideration when it comes to the stories. A lot of a lot of questions that need to be answered. Why, like, why did Wilder's team leave to go back to the United States prior to the WBC's ruling? on whether they were going to cancel, postpone, or have this fight continue. Now, this is according to Ryabinski and other reports, that once Wilder's team found out of Pavekin's positive drug test, Truvada, they, they pretty much just bounced. They didn't even... They didn't wait. They didn't see to see what the WC's ruling was going was gonna to be. They pretty much acted in the manner that the fight was gonna, going to be canceled. And now there's... there's uh, a lot of statements coming out from both teams. Bryabinski is maintaining the innocence of Pavekin that he hasn't taken the substance since last September. However, this substance is is unique. It was recently banned this year. However, there's a lack of scientific research on um, how long it can maintain in an athlete's system. Other uh, PED gurus, respected guys, guys that are, you know, w were pretty much handing out these type of drugs to athletes years ago, and also people that that study have wrote about P. I mean, uh, banned substances, PEDs, and, and other uh, stuff regarding cheating in sports. They 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 say that the substance can increase. Uh, the red blood cells in an athlete's system, and it could really expand their their cardi cardiovascular capacity. It can improve endurance and stamina. That's what that's the argument that some PED gurus are, are stating. But Ryabinski is is telling the press that the amount Pavekin had in the system was very very low. It even was lower than the limit that's allowed according to the WADA code. Now, more testing needed to be administered before this fight was canceled. Why wasn't the B test, B sample tested? Perhaps they wouldn't have gotten the results right after the fight. It was very close to the fight, so it made it a very tough decision on the WBC. But it, it sounds like pretty much Wilder and his team made the decision for WBC because they left to go back to the United States prior to the WBC's ruling. Now, WBC's ruling is that the fight is postponed and that's raising eyebrows with, bo and with people in boxing they're, they're saying why isn't the fight canceled altogether considering that Pavekin tests positive and according to WBC's rules when a boxer tests positive when they're participating in one of the WBC's anti-doping programs they have rules stipulated that the, the, a fighter a boxer will be punished he will be removed from the WC rankings and lose his status as a mandatory challenge or whatever for up to a year. Now, Rybinski is claiming that the fight will happen, the fight will be rescheduled, that he will consider litigation if, if Wilder's team continues to make statements that the fight will not be rescheduled, that he will lawyer up, that he's ready to do that, that he will force the mandatory title shot to happen. But it's going to depend on the WBC's ruling, on whether they're going to allow Pavekin to remain as a mandatory challenger, whether they're going to remove him from the rankings. It really has to do with the WBC's conclusion of its investigation. Now, Wilder's manager, Dave Diaz, is stating to the press that the fight is off, it's canceled, there's no rescheduling of the bout that's going to happen because Wilder is not going to take a rest as if he's had a fight, considering he's had a grueling training camp and didn't get to fight, he will now rest up his body, and if he, when he comes back, it will be for the summer, later this year. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the ruling of the WBC. It will have an impact on Ryabinski's decision and claims that the fight will, will, will be rescheduled. 
he wants the the bout to be in with with the same conditions, the same purses, the same arena, same same um, area of how when the bout was negotiated, when contracts were signed. And Wilder's team are just they're saying the complete opposite. Luda Bella, who is the promoter of name for for Wilder for this bout because he participated in purse bid procedures and got outbidded by Ryabinski. The Bell is pretty much a sham promoter using his license to help out Heyman, but he's pretty much a considered a an Al Heyman puppet. But he's saying that it's too premature to tell what's going to go down, that Wilder's next move is up in the air, that Ryabinski needs to shut the fuck up for the time being, and that WC needs to conclude its ruling on what's going to happen. But Wilder's team is showing no interest in rescheduling the bout. And considering what's going on in Russia, the, it, it's the last place right now for a foreign athlete to feel comfortable to participate in a in a competition when there's a a doping scandal going on in the country, considering what's go, what went down in the 2014 Sochi Olympics, so it's gonna make any foreign athlete sus, you know suspicious, hesitant, concerned of going to a foreign country to fight a Russian athlete in a country that's going through a doping scandal. But considering the amount of the traces of, of the amount that Pavet contested positive, considering that it was within the legal limit below the WADA code. However, because Pavet tested negative in three dates last month prior to his positive finding with VADA, that creates a concern to the other party, Team Wilder, that he took the, the banned substance after he tested negative for the safe substance on April 11th. So, we have to wait and see what the WC's ruling is going to be. But I just find it uh, hard to see that this fight is going to take place. Ever. Heyman and the WC are close. They, they, have, they do a lot of business together. Perhaps he can influence... The WC to remove Pavekin from his rankings. Maybe he won't get suspended, but maybe he'll lose his status as a mandatory challenger. Rybinski will will <laughs> will pursue litigation. Lawsuits will be flying. Could get ugly. Perhaps Wilder can counter sue, claiming that he he's spending a lot of expenses, that they they breached the contract, they violated the terms, and they caused a lot of damages to Wilder. So. It's getting it's getting pretty ugly right now. See lawsuits, litigation in place. Don't see this fight really happening. I, I see Wilder continuing the path that he's been on. At, pretty much uh, administered by Heyman. He's going to continue handpicking his opponents, putting him in fights designed to make him look good, even though Wilder has been struggled to look good, even against handpicked opposition. We're not going to be able to see a real fight for a while involving Deontay Wilder. Most likely they'll head to another direction, fight a an opponent within the top 15 WC rankings and right now there's not really strong alternatives compared to a Pavekin most likely Wilder will fight an Al Heyman client for his next defense if he if when, when he returns if he returns for the summertime perhaps he will fight Gerald Washington who's rated number 15 by the WC Another fight that's going to be designed to make Wilder look good. Not the type of opponent needed for Wilder to get the respect that he feels he deserves from the boxing world. And it's just, that's going to suck if that's the case. That's going to be 
it's not going to be interesting to see you know Wilder continue to feast on hand-picked opposition not the strongest available contenders that he could be fighting just want to see we the boxing world just want to see Wilder in a big fight this was the fight that was going to provide the ultimate test it was, this was going to provide answers if if Wilder's a legitimate champion not just a paper champion that has had his career carefully guided by Al Heyman that he's for real that he can that he can compete with the elites of the heavyweight division but it all depends on the WC's ruling of what's going to transpire between the both teams, the principles involved in this situation. It's kind of uh, head-scratching that Wilder's team bounced even before the WC, the, the WC issued a ruling on the situation. This is according to Rybinski and other reports. But Pavekin maintains his innocence. However, him testing negative for three separate tests last month could be problematic in proving his innocence. The WC will con will conclude his conclude his investigation, and that's going to determine what's going to happen. Whether this fight will happen, be postponed, or canceled altogether. Still, a lot of questions to be answered, and it's just, of course, it's ironic. A lot of people predicted this fight was not going to happen, that something was going to, fishy was going to go down, a uh, positive drug test or an injury uh, or some other bullshit, and that, it's, that's what's going down. Uh, that's that's exactly what a lot of people predicted, that this fight was going to happen, and now it's not going to happen. It's, it's currently postponed, but I don't really don't see a remedy to the situation where Wilder's going to consider going back to Russia to defend his title. Perhaps a new purse bid could be enforced by the WBC. It really depends on their ruling. We just have to wait and see. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.